my dear viewers and dear students welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about relations of the ureters in the abdominal part now in this session we are going to discuss about the relations of the ureter in the pelvic part in the abdominal part we did not find any uh, changes in males and females but we have observed some changes present on the left side and the right side of the ureters in this session we are going to discuss about the relations of the ureters in pelvic part okay as we already know that um, based on the course of ureters in the pelvic part we know that they have two courses one is the downward course and the forward course firstly we will see the relations of the downward course of the ureters in the downward course it is having uh, two relations one is um, posterior relations and lateral relations so now first we will see the posterior relations on the posterior aspect of the ureters we will find the internal iliac artery so here on the posterior aspect of the ureter we will find the internal iliac artery and then the commencement of here we can see this is the internal iliac artery and here we will find the commencement of the anterior trunk of the internal iliac artery and then we will find the internal iliac vein this one is the internal iliac vein here and then the lumbosacral trunk and finally it is related to the sacroiliac joint on the posterior aspect that is SI joint these are the posterior relations of the ureter and now we will see the lateral relations of the downward course of the ureter in the pelvic part laterally the first one is the fascia covering the abturator internus so if you see the hip bone so this is the hip bone on the medial aspect we can find the obturator internus muscle which is covering the uh, which is covering by the fascia okay here you can see clearly this one is the obturator internus muscle with its covering fascia so this is the first uh, one which is related uh, laterally to the ureter on the downward course okay and next one is the superior vesicular artery and also which is related on the lateral aspect or the abturator nerve and artery here you can see the abturator nerve and artery which is also associated with the vein abturator vein okay and then the inferior vesicular artery so here you can find the inferior vesicular artery and then the middle rectal artery in females it forms the posterior boundary of the ovarian fossa so these are all the lateral relations of the downward course of the ureter in the pelvic part now coming to the pelvic part relations of the forward course of ureter in males okay so here you can see in this pic this is the posterior view of the male urinary bladder which is showing a relations um, of the ureter with that of vast difference on the seminal vesicles okay so the first relation is the vas difference or ductus difference crosses the ureter superiorly here which is crossing superiorly from lateral aspect to the medial aspect from lateral to the medial aspect here this is the ureter which is entering into the base of the urinary bladder on the posterior aspect okay and the next relation is the seminal vesicle which lies below and behind the ureter okay and then the vesicle veins which are surrounded on the terminal part of the ureter 
okay these are the relations of the forward course of the ureters in males again we will see the vas difference or ductus difference crosses the ureter superiorly from lateral to the medial side and the seminal vesicle lies below and behind the ureter and the vesicle veins surrounding the terminal part of the ureter okay now we will see the pelvic part relations of the forward course of the ureter in females okay so this is the posterior view of the uterus here we can see the posterior view of the uterus in this the ureter lies here you can find the ureter which lies in the extra peritoneal connective tissue so this is the extra peritoneal connective tissue in the lower and medial part of the broad ligament okay and the next relation is the uh, relation with that of the uterine artery so here in this pic so you will find the uterine artery in green color so this uterine artery lies first above and in front okay uterine artery lies first above and in front of the ureter for a distance of 2.5 cm okay and then it crosses superiorly here you can see and then it crosses superiorly from lateral to so this one is the lateral side from lateral to this one is medial side from lateral to medial side now here you can see the anterior aspect of the um, uterus here so here you'll find the this one is the vagina and this one is the cervix so so above this vagina this one is the supra vaginal part and inside the vagina this one is the in, intra vaginal part of the cervix so the ureter lies about 2 cm lateral 2 cm lateral to the supra vaginal portion of the cervix so this one is the lateral aspect to the supra vaginal portion of the cervix and also it runs slightly above the lateral fornix this is the lateral fornix of the vagina okay and then the terminal part of the ureter here you can see the terminal part of the ureter lies anterior to the vagina so this one is lying anterior to the vagina which enter into the bladder these are the uh, relations of the forward course of the ureter in females so in the next session we are going to discuss about the blood supply and nerve supply of the ureters thank you